good evening guys mm, welcome to my youtube channel um i'll just be using this opportunity to illustrate more for on our um, agri science practicals like if you if you watch on the the picture that I just displayed you will see that the specimens given were number one budizo okay then we'll have the next to so cola tag we'll have spanner kerosene lamp inorganic fertilizer that is super phosphate we have compost we have farmyard manure we have um, granot seeds we have cutting lint we have oil palm fruit we have rubber lettuce we have crop in bracket poultry we have gizzard the longitudinal section with center we have rumen shaki we have small intestine and we have infrared okay we have liver okay so i will just be glancing through okay some important things you need to note so just watch them look at them and pick some things you can be able to pick because these are the likely questions that they might ask pertaining each of the specimens so just take a look at them take i can't i won't be able to be saying all of them out but just glance through look at pick out the ones you can pick like example budizo is is used for castration to cut this the spermatic cord of the male animals that's one of the uses of the first specimen given okay let's turn to the next page okay the next page is what how is budizo used so you can look at it how it's used and also the method of maintenance okay then uses also then okay so we'll have what we call the neck and collar so just take the take a look at the uses and also the uses of spanner and also the maintenance okay so let's go to the next page the next page is diagram of a spanner you can you know how to draw a spanner so keep on glassing the tools that can perform similar functions are wrench ring spanner kerosene lamp okay wrench ring spanner and pliers then we'll talk about kerosene lamp okay so look at the uses the maintenance also okay then we we'll also look at other equipments that can be used in place of kerosene lamp. We have electric bulb, stove, rechargeable lamp, coal pots, etc. Then inorganic fertilizer. Of course, we know that is chemical fertilizer. Example, we we'll have types of inorganic fertilizers. So read them. Okay. We we'll also talk about functions of superphosphate fertilizers. So read them. Advantages of inorganic fertilizers and disadvantages of inorganic fertilizers and then also read about how feeding through is being used okay so read about that also granite seeds the botanical name cutting nut the botanical name oil palm fruit the botanical name rubber the botanical name okay so look at them classes of crop based on uses we have granite oil crops to so legumes oil palm oil crops cutting oil crops rubber latex classes of crops based on life cycle we have granite animal crops oil perennial crops cutting annual crops rubber perennial crops uses of granite it serves as food for man it can be used as cover crops granite oil is used for making margarine so take note of all these okay reasons for including granites in crop production for nitrogen fixation controls erosion advantages of feeding throw okay so take note of the advantages advantages of neck tag take note of them disadvantages of neck tag take note of them precautions to be taken when using kerosene lamp take note of them disadvantages of kerosene lamp take note of them okay then also the process of buddhiza is used in castration the advantages of castration take note of that disadvantages of castration take note of that what is castration take note of that okay so glance through then also we have use of oil palm oil palm is used for food the use of cutting take note of that use use of rubber lattice take note of that okay description of oil palm fruit okay how what is oil palm fruit method of propagation of oil palm fruit pests of granite read about them this is common to granite read about them 
pests of oil palm read about them okay also read about um, disease of cotton pests of cotton types of disease of rubber pests of rubber types of germania then also read about cultural practices cultural practices involving in granules oil palm rubber etc so i believe by these few things that i've listed in this video you can be able to um, note some few things and and i believe it can help a lot in our exams so stay stay tuned as i keep on posting a whole lot of videos okay so make sure you follow my page like and subscribe to my youtube channel also comment leave some comments and also you can share my page so that some of your friends that are writing the exam will also have a clue on what is going to come out okay thanks and remain blessed okay bye